Hey guys, I always get this question asked, what speed do you actually get from your Starlink? So here we go. I'm going to run a test right now. So this is, I'm running the test from within the app, but don't worry about it. From the app, it's the same thing as going to a website and running the speed from there. So I've done that so many times. Because, um, you know, everybody's always going to think, well, the app's going to tell me one thing, obviously faster than what it actually is. But no, it actually tells you the actual truth. So right now it's 71 megabytes per second. What I've noticed right now, it's um, 6.36 a.m. Uh, for some reason, from 3 a.m. till 5.36, almost 6 o'clock, it runs at maybe 130 megabytes per second. And then later on, it starts to lag out on me. So what I mean by lag out, because I do online gaming, that's when it lags out. Other than that, this is fine. Like this speed is fine to like watch Netflix or anything like that you guys want to do, it's fine. Or just for basic work, it's fine. But if you guys want to do online gaming, then this speed is not good. At, um, when I get that 130-ish, that's good. That's actually good. I can actually, I even stream my gameplay. So if you guys want to see examples of how laggy it gets, just watch any of my gameplay videos that I have from Fortnite, for example. So watch my live streams. So I live stream using this. And uh, so I don't recommend using Starlink to do that. It's just not up to that standard just yet. Even with the 130 megabytes per second, it lags at times. So it's not, it's not great. I don't have any obstructions in my sky here. So this is the perfect example of a clear view. There's nothing in the way. It's, it should be perfect conditions for Starlink to work. However, that's the speed that I get. So on average, from what I've been, I would say I do get those 100 megabytes per second, as long as you have a clear view of the sky, so you won't get any interruptions as well. So if I just show you that, let me just go back, and then if we go into obstructions, you guys will see that I have a clear view. So I have zero obstructions right here with my Starlink. So that's why I wanted to show you guys and make this video so you get a good example of what Starlink can do. So if you guys want to go out and play, because one of their ads is kind of like that, somebody in the desert playing a video game, streaming it, that's not going to work out. So if that's your job, then nope. Um, it's going to work out just a little bit. It's not that horrible sometimes. <laughs> but overall, it's not a good experience as a gamer. But uh, if you just want to play online and not stream it, then you're okay. So what I've been doing is test out both things. So I've been going into um, just playing online by myself. Then it works okay. But if I stream that at the same time, so other people can see uh, in my channel, then that's a problem. It should say I can't because it's so laggy sometimes. But again, average speed for me has been around 100 megabytes per second. Right now, um, after this time, like after 6 o'clock, it does go down to 70. And I usually use Starlink very early in the morning or at night time. At night time, it does get a little bit better. But during the day, it's not the fastest thing in the world. This would be your average, around 70, 60 megabytes per second. In the morning, whenever I use it, usually, because I, I wake up really early to do all my work, um, while I'm on this road trip where I'm going everywhere, um, I wake up early, so I use it from usually from four in the morning until seven in the morning. That's my schedule. So I notice that from six to seven, it's the laggiest part about my job. Then from four until six, it runs pretty smooth. But again, I'm talking about online gaming, which uh, will take a lot of power because you're because you are playing online, so you're using all that. Plus, you're streaming it, so you're sending out, so you're using a lot of upload. And as you guys can see, the upload speed's quite slow at 60 megabytes per second. So it's not great for streaming. But if we're talking about streaming when it comes down to Netflix, which you're just downloading, then it works just fine. Smooth, no lag, no, uh, the resolution looks good, it doesn't look blurry or anything like that. And just to let you know, I've been on a road trip for almost a month now, and I moved from place to place. So I've been able to test this out in several places that are far away from each other, by the way. So if you're thinking of Starlink, it works great. It's the only way I can work, actually. 
because I can't get a um, cell phone data plan that's unlimited or else that would most likely be better but the unlimited versions where I'm from they're not actual unlimited they always have that fine print that tells you that uh, although it might be unlimited you have to do something with ferret usage which gives you a max of let's say 100 gigs or 150 gigs or something like that which is pretty low actually all right so one more thing i forgot to tell you guys is that if you guys want to watch any of the live streams so you guys can see how laggy it was or wasn't then go ahead and watch any of my live streams i've done from fortnite and um from july 1st 2024 all the way until july 30th or july 28th just to make sure so look at any of those live streams those have all been done using starlink and they're all been done slightly at different times so you guys can check those out and see how laggy they were so that would give you a good example because some of them have even crashed and they have to start like part two of the stream and stuff like that but anyways as far as this video goes we're all done if you guys have any questions comments you guys can write them in the comments area don't forget to subscribe and like thank you